Right, it's time for showbiz and uh, Miss G is here, so I quickly turn to her. She has all the filler. Hello. Yes, 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 yes. So okay, this well, year... You're looking different. Oh, what's um, different about me? Radiant. Oh, thank you. A bit more you. radiant. Oh, thank you. What's the secret? Um, is, there <laughs> is there a secret to be told? Why? I don't okay, know you tell. Okay, this Jehovah, Jairi, Jehovah DC. Amen, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, thank you very much. And that's how we start Adun Praise 2019. Okay. You know that, you know, Adun Praise is a time for us to go worship and praise the Lord. And this year is the 10th anniversary of the event. And we have all local lattes from back in the day to those who are doing contemporary uh, gospel music okay. now. So from um, let's see which which of the names do you want to remember? Tegos, uh, yeah, Tegos sisters, daughters of uh, glorious Jesus. Jesus. Uh, we have Joe Metal representing this uh, generation. Do you remember uh, Yaps? Not quite. Probably if you sang something there. Okay, do you know the reason why we need to go back <laughs> to ten years ago? You know, and uh, it was launched on radio on Adum FM. And here's what uh, the organizers had to tell us. Making a doom praise 2019 powered by the multimedia group limited a doom fm yeah yeah tough a doom praise yeah baby all right so on the 6th of september which is about two weeks away yeah. uh two or three weeks away three weeks. yes uh, we are going to Very much converge to again it. definitely so yeah. definitely so and away from that let's talk about you want to, you want to say something no okay so i'm uh, looking forward to it i'm, I'm I'm, you know, thinking probably I should, you know, join them on stage and sing, and just like I did with the Brooklyn Tabernacle um, singers. <coughs> Are you still talking to me? <laughs> Are you sure you're just not talking to yourself? You did with which people? Brooklyn Tabernacle singers. In the room here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe, yes. You joined them for the dress rehearsals. And, that'll yeah, be and I couldn't make it to the on stage. I, I know the same will happen for Adun Praise. So thank you very much for telling us that you will join for dress rehearsals. But away from Adun Praise, let's talk about the Black Avenue Music, D Black's uh, label. Yeah. D Black has got almost all the people he signed leaving. Now, yeah. Yeah. yeah wondering you know, but, what's going but D Black said if you leave, you leave at your own loss. So people want to lose, so they decide to go. So we have Wiser who's left with the rhymes, you know. Almost everybody has left. So which uh, label is Wiser Grade? Right uh, he's on his own. He's on his, he's own. On his own. So Wiser Grade label. <laughs> and so uh, Sefahu is the only female who is uh, uh, here in Ghana that's still with the label. Yeah. Has been speaking about how she's so loyal that it's be difficult for her to leave. It's only me and then the two international people, Osayo and Nina. We are the only ones left now. What's keeping you there? loyalty when it comes to me. I'm, I'm a very loyal person and I mean when you join a label, certain things will come along the way that 
wouldn't seem right to you or you feel like okay maybe i'm not supposed i'm not where i, I want to be and stuff like that but it has to do with loyalty and how you understand people and you know that things don't come easy so when somebody decides to invest in you and, and give you his attention you shouldn't take it for granted I'm, and, and i'm not saying that my label mates did that but then i mean when it comes to me i don't only see bam as a label i see it as a family so even if i want to go and i'm like okay i want to leave bam i'm thinking about my road manager i'm thinking about my producer breezy i'm thinking about everybody people who have invested their time into me i can't just let them go like that so but your boss says that he's, and he said if you leave his record label it's your loss yeah is that is that the reason also because you're thinking that you're going to lose you might not find anybody else to sign you you don't think you'll do well on your own no i don't I don't think so. I mean, he's human. Maybe he said that out of maybe anger. Maybe he said that because of what he knows he can do. My label mates are doing fine wherever they are. I would have just said, okay, they are, they've gone and they are doing well. So let me just go and join them. And one of the label mates who has left and is doing well has resigned to AVO. You remember AVO and Rough Town came together uh, when during the days of the late Ebony okay. and signed some other artists. So which one is doing was doing so well and you're saying it's doing so well now? Uh, well, Frida, oh no, she's been, she's been yet to, you know, show us anything on the okay. record label. Okay. So, uh, Frida Rhymes, she, right. she won the hits maker. She's the only female to have won the hits maker so far. She's a rapper, but she says now she's moved to AVO. The contract is good, but the thing about it also is that she's going to start singing, and that's the only way to get our attention. Yeah. There's one other um, artist who's coming up. Uh, I'll introduce her in a, in a few days. Mm. <laughs> Please, let's see Frida Rhymes. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. It's not true. You're not that kind of person. No, no. I'm humble like that, so Miss B. <laughs> Miss D, sorry. I'm very humble. I wasn't. It's just that things weren't going the way I expected it. You understand? Because you really want that you didn't even find. Um, I felt that, you know, right after Hitmaker, I had a larger fan base. A lot of people were expecting things from me, songs and all that. But then, when that song is being released, the attention it needs doesn't come. The promotion, you understand? I wasn't getting that. I'm not saying they weren't doing it. They did their best for me. I believe that what, whatever they did for me was their best. But it's just that it didn't reach far. And it wasn't really like, let me say, enough. That's why, you understand? What was your relationship now with your former boss? Like, oh, we are good. Yeah. We are good. Oh, we, we, I left there in a good terms with the, yeah, with the. So, rap music in Ghana, you know, there's still a debate about who, you know, the top 50 people are. There's a lot of debates. And, and we look at the list, and some of the lists don't even have any female at all. Like, aren't you bothered that, you know, it, will, it, it might take forever for female rappers to be noticed? Well, I, that's how it's always been, and it doesn't really feel encouraging, especially me being a female artist. I feel that's even the reason why we're not having enough female artists in our industry because they, they don't support us, you understand? And right now, my team has realized that, yeah, female rap is not really like selling out there. So they've actually helped me to establish so many things about me that, you know, as I'm going to come out, it's not going to be just rap. We are going to blend in with the singing and all that. So I believe with that, we are going to penetrate. And I think that very soon we'll not have any female rapper, everybody will be singing, and that's the only way to get our attention. But that'll be it until you learn to sing and rap as well, then we get well, to sign you. Well, I don't intend to rap, but yes, sing, yes, I will do that. I have a message uh, from you. Um, my paddy, tell Radiant Miss G to get me a ticket for this year's album Pray, so it's on you. Oh, yeah, come, let's go, come, let's go. Yeah, go him, yeah, be he. Ah, yeah, be he. All right. All right, uh, thank you very much, uh, Miss G, for bringing us uh, showbiz with that.